Today is 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. On this beautiful day, the Lord is inviting each one of us to be receptive and to listen attentively to Him, to receive His love, light and talents that He is waiting to share with us. In today's readings, we hear about the light and talents. People of light think beyond themselves, wish well for the world beyond theirs, and invest the time and talents for others. The Gospel makes it very clear that we are to make a dynamic and positive contribution to the church, family, community, society and the world at large by our generous contribution. Today, we understand talent as a special skill or gift given by God. The Lord expects us to make visible the talents that we have obtained from Him. Jesus wants us to be like those servants who earned a return. He is urging us to stay alert by listening to Him and be faithful in small matters. Every act of love and obedience will help us to live as children of light. <clears throat> then our hearts will be ready to hear Him say, Well done, my good friend. By making use of our talents, we are called to glorify God and thus become messengers of good news. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, now to offer this Mass in a worthy manner. Let us feel sorry for our sins and ask God for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault. Through my fault, through my fault to my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Oh, oh. 
let us pray grant us wo we pray wo lord our god a constant gladness of being devoted to you for it is full and blasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good to our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen first reading a reading from the book of proverbs an excellent wife who can find she is far more precious than jewels the heart of a husband trusts in her and he will have no lack of gain she does him good and not harm all the days of her life she seeks wool and flax and works with willing hands she puts her hands to the distaff and her hands hold the spindle she opens her hand to the poor and reaches out her hands to the needy charm is deceitful and beauty is vain but a woman who fears the lord is to be praised give her of the fruit of her hands and let her works praise her in the gates the word of the lord thanks, thanks be, be to god, god. some your response blessed are all who fear the lord blessed are all who fear the lord blessed are all who fear the lord and walk in his ways by the labor of your hands you shall eat you will be blessed and prosper your response blessed are all who fear the lord your wife like a fruitful vine in the heart of your house your children like shoots of the olive around your table your response blessed are all who fear the lord indeed thus shall be blessed the man who fears the lord may the lord bless you from zion may you see jerusalem prosper all the days of your life your response blessed are all who fear the lord second reading a reading from the first letter of saint paul to the thessalonians concerning the times and the seasons brothers you have no need to have anything written to you for you yourselves are fully aware that the day of the lord will come like a thief in the night while people are saying there is peace and security then sudden destruction will come upon them as labor pains come upon a pregnant woman and they will not escape but you are not in darkness brothers for the day to surprise you like a thief for you are all children of light children of the day we are not of the night or of the darkness so then let us not sleep as others do but let us keep awake awake and be sober the word of the lord thanks be to god sing alleluia sing alleluia let's all together sing this praise alleluia sing alleluia sing alleluia let's all together sing this praise alleluia abide in me and i in you says the lord whoever abides in me bears much fruit Sing alleluia sing alleluia let's all together sing this praise alleluia The Lord be with you and with your spirit A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew Glory to you O Lord Chapter 25 verses 14 to 15 then 19 to 21 at that time jesus told his disciples this parable it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted to them his pro- property to one he gave 5 talents 
to another two, to another one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. Now, after a long time, the master of those servants came and settled accounts with them. And he who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five talents more, saying, Master, you delivered to me five talents. Here I have made five talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. Glory and praise to our God. And praise to our God. Dear our sisters, my dear teachers and students, there are various kinds of talents. Same way, there are talented people of a various kind also. Some are rarely available, some are readily available, some are never available. Some are known, many are unknown. So, the school every year we used to conduct talent search competitions in the schools in order to find and foster the talents inherent in the students. Why should the talents be found out and be fostered? Today's Gospel reading helps us to understand the important insights regarding the talents. First, Jesus says in the parable that a man had servants to whom he entrusted his property when he was about to go on a journey. To one he gave five talents, to another two talents, and to another just one. As such, we understand that the talents we have are the properties of God. He has entrusted them to us for our own use and for the use of others. We are not the owners of the talents we have. We are only stewards who have the responsibility to make full use of them. Secondly, we see that the master entrusts the talents to each according to their ability. In fact, no one in the world is left without talents. Each and every one is talented. Maybe with the differences. The difference is to enable oneself and not to disable or to discourage. Man who received one talent might have compared himself with the other who have received five and two talents which might have discouraged him and made him to find fault with his master. As two words, we are expected to utilize the talents we are endowed with. The third insight about the talents is very, very important. The servants who received five and two went and got them multiplied by trading with them and they were promoted by their master. But the one who received just one talent, he buried it finding fault with the master and he was severely punished for the by the master. From this we come to understand that talents when they are put into use, they get multiplied and promote our lives as well as the life of others. On the other hand, failing to utilize the talents is not only a mistake, but a punishable offense. Therefore, let us believe that each one of us is blessed and endowed with the talents according to our own ability and that talent we have is not our own. As two words, we have received from them, received them from God, and we have the responsibility to utilize them for our own good and for the good of others. Thus, the talents may be multiplied for the glory of God and for the promotion of our own life. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, was conceived by the Holy Spirit.
born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. God has gratuitously blessed us the abundant blessings in our life. We are all interested with gifts and talents to make our life fruitful and productive. Faithfulness, commitment, dedication are the essential qualities of a good steward. We earnestly pray for strength to rise from our lethargic response to God's gracious gifts. We pray. Our response, Lord, be merciful and bless us. Lord, be merciful and bless us. For the Holy Father, Pope Francis, all the bishops, the clergy and the religious, that the special vocation they have received, along with the power and authority invested in them, may be fruitfully and effectively used as the faithful stewards for God's glory. We pray. Lord, be merciful and bless us. For Christians all over the world, that they may rise up from their indifference and be vigilant and active in fulfilling their God-given responsibilities, just as St. Paul exhorts the Thessalonians to stay alert, sober and work hard. We pray to the Lord. Lord, be merciful and bless us. For the world leaders, that they may recognize the precious resources God has generously given to each nation and be productive and fruitful in administering them to reach the benefits to every person in need. We pray. Lord, be merciful and bless us. For our children and youth whose participation vital for the growth of the church, that they may recognize the God-given talents in them and put them to the best use for the good of society and the church. We pray. Lord, be merciful and bless us. That all of us celebrating this Holy Eucharist may be strengthened and nourished by the body and blood of Christ and become effective in our missionary endeavors. We pray. Lord, be merciful and bless us. Let us pray for our personal needs. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we offer you our petitions and prayers. We thank you for all the blessings you have showered upon us, especially for the gift of Jesus in the Eucharist. Help us to be nourished by his body and blood in this Eucharist, and be his faithful stewards ever after. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, I bring thee now my talents that thou givest me, just to use them for thy service.
sisters that our sacrifice may be acceptable to the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the price of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought a renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering cancelled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time when he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and ever eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim the death of God and profess your resurrection and drink again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Francis Calista, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Heavenly Father, the words of Savior gave us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his banquet. Lord. I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.